Angel Technologies. Let's talk about this as it is very much related to our research. These sites have been reported around the world, visual spirals and moving projectiles in the heavens, which appear to just switch off and vanish. They usually try to say this is a rocket test. Some have correctly associated these with geopetrol and hieroglyphs, the depictions everywhere around the world, no matter the country or culture, the exact same depictions. This is ancient knowledge, we were taught these things in days of old the workings of the realm and how they work in relation to the heavens. They also feature heavily in the Nazca lines, which I have been decoding as blueprints through the underworld. Our research has been based upon these blueprint overlays, which can easily be linked to scriptures, the Book of Enoch, other sacred geometries, real world data, earthquakes, volcanoes, and pretty much most of nature's processes. What you may be looking at are projected elements from an open-ended tube, a particle accelerator that can project a particle hundreds of miles. The spiral in part may be coming from an element that is going through the right-hand rule, the spin around the particle accelerator. Now my concerns here would be what particle is being projected and what health risks, if any, are there to the public below. We know the sun's element is gold, the moon's is silver, what particles are being used here? Someone really needs to take an air sample from near these events and have them checked out. There will be signs in the skies. Now that sentence should end in if this technology is tampered with or reverse engineered. Now why do I say they are projected particles? Let me take you back to the free FBI Freedom of Information file on Mr Nikola Tesla. In Exhibit Q here, you can see an agreement between Nikola Tesla and the Amtog Trading Corporation, in which Tesla agreed to supply plans, specifications and complete information on a method and apparatus for producing high voltages up to 50 million volts, or producing very small particles in a tube open to air, or increasing the charge of the particles to the full voltage of the higher potential terminal and for projecting the particles to distances of 100 miles or more, the maximum speed of the particles was specified at not less than 350 miles per second. Now, I've, brought, I've uh, brought your attention to these files before and how it relates to our work and worldly workings. I'll read that part again. For producing very small particles in a tube open to air, for increasing the charge of the particles to the full voltage of the high potential terminal and for projecting the particles to distances of 100 miles or more, the maximum speed being no less than 350 miles per second. I think this is what we are seeing guys, this is projection technology which is roughly what our work is all being based upon. To delve deeper into this research I recommend watching our 12 gates video this is research done by One Conscience and myself and we give a more technical breakdown of the angel technology with many references and correlations. It also includes a voiceover by Santos Panacci and references current particle acceleration work by Roger from Mud Fossil University. Other subjects include those halos in the sky that may stream liar sun dogs, the eye of Horus was decoded, volcanoes, lava and the sun's return path in the underworld. We will also be releasing a video soon entitled Wonderland. This is a more technical breakdown of how the angel technology works. So stay tuned people, this is FPV out.